What's going on, folks? It's K Spade the Prospect. I'm back today with another NBA 2K14 video. I'm on the Xbox One and I am playing my team. The mode that I said I would never play, I'm playing it and I'm kind of liking it too, but we're going to keep that down low. So anyway, folks, the strong arm of the law, which is my team, the Atlanta Rainmakers, so far we've been doing pretty good. Nothing just exceptional, but definitely finding a way to get some tough wins along the way. Now, you guys have probably noticed by the scores in the games I've been posting, as I'm moving through the seeds, my opponents are getting better, and definitely the teams that I'm playing against are getting better. I mean, consistently getting better. I'm facing some teams now. I'm like, oh, good God, look at all this heat tons of heat so in this game right here i'm playing against a guy who's got a pretty good team his team is not the most powerful team i face but it is a very good team and the weird thing was how he decided to play with his team now he has michael jordan a lot of people has michael jordan but this guy could cook with mj i mean i think we all can cook with mj but you, you get where i'm going with it right i mean this guy right here really could cook with mj now i kind of counted his cooking with mj with me cooking with Penny Hardaway. Now, if you guys don't know much about Penny, Anthony Penny Hardaway was a six foot seven point guard that went and played college ball at Memphis. He was a beast. However, however, bear with me for a minute. Wait a minute, look at Free Iggy. Pull. Free Iggy. Free Iggy gonna make it rain. Y'all know I like that dude. That's one of my favorite my team players. And that three is answered by MJ banging down the three. I told you this guy could play with MJ and he's taking the lead. But let me get back to Penny Hardaway. I don't know how you guys gonna feel about this, but I was a Penny Hardaway fan. I think we all were. But Penny wasn't the way 2K remembers him. A lot of times when people don't play anymore, we want to remember them a little better than they were. Now, I'm not complaining 2K, I'm not. But Penny, Penny really wasn't that contact dunk player. That wasn't him. I'm not saying he never did. Look at the beautiful steal by the Black Mama throwing it up to D-Wade. Who's reminding us why they used to call him Flash. Beautiful. If you look up some Penny Hardaway highlights, you're going to see some layups. He had this thing about things being reversed. He would throw passes behind the back. He would throw like layups behind the back over there. He did a lot of reverse stuff. It's almost like his contract was geared that he would make an extra dollar if he did something backwards. He did a lot of stuff backwards. So... Imagine my surprise when I got Penny Hardaway in my team and he would just dunk on everyone. So I'm not complaining, but if he was on your team and not mine, I would say he's OP. You get where I'm going with that? Let's get back to the game. I go on those tangents. Y'all know how I do. Second quarter right here, we got a tight game when the man himself, Penny Hardaway, banging down the three to give us a small lead. So look at this. Great defensive recovery by me. I'm playing as KD right there and I'm getting it turned on the would-be three-point attempt. Of course, I knocked it out of bounds, so they get it back. And there was another guy on this guy's team that could cook. Not just MJ, this guy. James Harden is a beast. I would love to have a James Harden card in my team. Anytime I play against somebody with James Harden, the level at which this guy cooks is crazy. So I know the card is a really good card because everybody I play against who got James Harden, they all cook with him. Great offensive rebound. Way to follow your shot, DeMarcus Cousins. We get it to Monte Ellis, who bangs down the mid-range. Now, he has about five seconds, but he wanted to try this very risky inbound that resulted in a turnover. You can't be greedy, young fella. You can't be greedy. So he gives me another opportunity to score, and look at the Black Mamba. Woo, that scoop is sexy. That scoop is sexy. So I get the scoop layup. We go into the half with a bit of a lead. The game would not be won, though. The game is not over. Look at this here. Here we are in the second half, and you got Allen Iverson being guarded by Michael Jordan. If you're like me and you remember AI's rookie year, you think about that crossover that he hit MJ with. He hit him with like a hezzy, then a crossover. Then he kind of waited for MJ to recover and just banged the shot on MJ. So I thought about that, and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to let him get the best of MJ. MJ is my dude. So right here, I'm rocking him, going straight to the basket with that dunk. Who jumped up and got them chestnuts? I'm sorry, AI. I'm sorry. I can't let you embarrass MJ on my watch. I'm not having that. Of course, he's coming back. And then he finds a wide open James Harden who rattles one down. <sighs> James Harden is five of seven. And I bet you more than half of those are three-pointers. Like, he just came out here and made it rain. He really did. I'm kicking the pass out right here to Carmelo Anthony, who still had the snowflake but was able to make the shot fall. 
Carmelo's a beast. And look at Penny. You see what I'm talking about? Yo, he paused the game and went and took a timeout. Like, he really wanted to change something on, on the floor right here. 20 seconds to go. A delayed three-point attempt. D quality. Penny don't care about no Ds. Penny said it's still passing, ain't it? He don't care. Calling for the pick right here. I was looking to pass, and I just decided to go straight to the basket because Penny Hardaway is a super saiyan, and there's nothing you can do to stop him. He finishes that one. It's the fourth quarter right now, and I'm still nursing a small lead. His MJ is still cooking, though. Matter of fact, his MJ is keeping him in the game. I'm turning the ball over here. It goes up to his MJ and Dari. Big time block right there by me. And we're back and running on the other end. I see free Iggy. I don't know why I stopped with the pump fake. I'm going to kick it back. Let's set something up. Let's set something up. I don't have anything right here. Penny passes it around. Free Iggy is going to pull the shot. I thought it was a three. Apparently, I had a foot on the line. But we got a five-point lead right here. Beautiful pass right here. And I get it blocked. But look who comes up with it. His MJ. MJ does pass to Kyrie. Kyrie pulls a three. We're not worried about Kyrie. Kyrie, I'm not worried about you. The homie Air Jones swears he cooks with Kyrie. Somebody's going to have to show me them cooking with Kyrie. We did have a bit of a tragedy right here, though. After the big-time Rainmaker free, Iggy goes down with an injury. It's not too bad, though, because you know my team is loaded. So we just brought in MJ and wannabe baby MJ, the Black Mamba. Got them both out here. I thought that was some great defense, but James Harden is just... He's OP. He bangs down the three, hand in the face. I come right back and answer that three with a three of my own from Michael Jeffrey Jordan. I will not let anyone go with my MJ. I won't. I just won't. And look at this right here. MJ with a little Euro layup right there. We got an eight-point lead with two minutes to go. Now, this is probably my biggest lead of the game, I think. Don't quote me on that because you guys be really paying attention. And you'll be in the comment section like Spade at the three-minute mark. It was up nine points. So, I might be wrong, but I think this is my biggest lead of the game. Whether it is or it's not, definitely the momentum was shifting right here. It was really shit. I felt like we was taking over. Look at this. Shot clock running down. Kyrie having to take a shot. I want Kyrie to shoot. You're not going to cook me with Kyrie. I, I just don't believe it. Penny's almost turning the ball over. Picking it up, recovering his almost loose ball, and a sexy bounce pass down low to the big fella. That's a 10-point lead. It's double digits right here. And look at Penny. You should have banged on him. You should have banged on him, Penny. He's going to kick it to MJ. MJ being patient. Being patient. Hit him with the fadeaway. That's MJ. He do what he want to do. Beautiful. 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 So 25 seconds to go right here. You know what happens at the end of the game. People start playing a little more gutsy. They start taking more risks. And when you take those risks, I wait. I lurk like a snake in the grass. Ready to bite. Ready to strike. Like a black mamba even. You know what I'm saying? I messed that one up. That was the perfect time for me to segue into some Kobe stuff. I messed it up. Darius Miller, who you guys haven't seen much of, almost got ripped right there. I try to keep Darius Miller in the lineup because that's my dude. I will admit, as I continue to get higher in the seas at some point, I'm like, somebody got to go. I need some more heat. And I be looking at Darius. He be looking on the bench like, coach, don't get me. But it might happen. End of the game, I just chunk a shot up. I wasn't trying to run the score up on the guy. He was a great opponent at some point in the fourth quarter. I downloaded what he wanted to do, and I tried to take it away from him. So good game for him. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out the next time, folks. Peace.